This challenge addresses error management. So the task here is to complete this function. It's called is positive and we receive a parameter. The parameter here is going to be a number. So here we need to do a couple of things. We need to throw an error according to these rules. If the parameter here is zero, we need to return an error with the message zero error. If A is negative, meaning it's less than zero, then we need to throw an error with the message negative error. Now to do that, actually, you can use the error constructor, which is like this. There are examples. Um, you can simply borrow some of their code. It's very straightforward. You just grab new error and you specify the message that you want. This here is my solution for this challenge. Here we use a conditional statement. I'm writing all of these on the same line because there's only one line of statements, so it's valid. I'm verifying if A is greater than zero, meaning that it's a positive number. And if it is, I return yes. I need to return that value because that is what they say here. If the value of A is positive, we need to return the string yes. Otherwise, Meaning if this here is false, then I want to check the next exclusive condition because it's either this or this or this. So if the first condition here is false, then we want to verify if A here is equal to zero. And if it is, then I use the throw keyword and I use the notation that I showed you guys here with the error constructor and I specify the message here. And I do the same thing here, meaning that if A is a negative number, I throw this error instead. So for the first condition, I return a string and for the other conditions, I throw an error. The difference between this and this here is the message that is being passed. If you look at the predefined code here, they have a for loop, but the most important thing that you need to look at is this here. We had something similar in the last tutorial where we used a try catch block. So here I have a console log statement and we use this function as intended. But if there is an error, then we're going to grab the error here as an object. So you have E here. In this case, E would be either this error or this one. And to access the message, either this or this string here, we can call the message property on the error. So that's how this, um, this challenge works or my code works. You can see that we've passed the sample test cases. So now I can submit this code and we have six test cases. We've passed all of them. That's it for day three. If you like my solution, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.